Pie pie everywhere pie. Delicious dessert, goofy math symbol, or really long confusing number. Pie day is March 14th. The first Pi Day celebration was held at the San Francisco Expatorium in 1988 with staff and public marching around one of, the, one of its circular spaces and then consuming pies. Sometimes Pi Day is celebrated March 14th at 1.59 p.m., commonly known as Pi Minute. Also, when Pi is truncated to seven decimal places, it becomes 3.1415926, making March 14th at 1.59 and 26 seconds p.m. the Pi second. And if you're European in European format, Pi Approximation Day may be observed on July 22nd, because 22 to slash 7 is like dividing, and that would equal 3.14. Also, Albert Einstein... His birthday is born on March 14, 1878, also a Pi Day recipient, just like Miss Ford. But Pi is all about the circles, circles like the moon, the sun, and even Charlie Brown. But seriously, let's get back to the circles. Pi represents the ratio of, en of any circle's circumference to its diameter, meaning Pi equals C divided by D. Alternatively, pi can be also defined as the ratio of a circle's area to the area of a square whose side is equal to the radius, meaning pi equals a divided by r squared. But enough of that math mumbo jumbo, here's a fun fact. On March 14, 2004, Daniel Tammet recited from memory 22,514 decimals of pi. On March 14, 1916, is the closest approximation of pi in the last century. Pi, pi, or pi. Don't think hard about how to celebrate your pi day. Don't try to solve a math equation or you don't have to, you know, do this or do that. Just eat some pie. It's as simple as that. Happy birthday, Miss Ford. Peace! Always here. I even wrote the song. And all of time we shared. And if you can't say love, we'll prevail. And even love will overcome. And all of evil will fail. And, and if you can't say love, you ain't always here. I even wrote the song. And all of time we shared. And if you can't.